playing the Geo Archon, this is the only chance you'll get all year. Geo Archon? Guess it's a good thing Venti brought it up earlier. Other <sighs> Need more story content, please. <laughs> There we go. If you want to find the Geo Archon, this is the only chance you'll get all year. Geo Archon? Guess it's a good thing Venti brought it up earlier. Otherwise, we definitely would have missed this year's Rite of Dissension. Oh yeah, the story from way back then. How either it was from the one with Gordon Ramsay with the Where's the Lamb Sauce? Do you know where well, it is? Venti brought up the time, but Baimon... Knows nothing about where it is. <laughs> Look, we're already in Liyue, so let's go ask some of the locals. Oh, right. About the Geo Archon Morax. So that's his name. Did you know the Mora that we use is named after this god? But it's seen as impolite for people from outside Liyue to refer to the Geo Archon by that name. So. Wait, but why? So we should refer to the Geo Archon by the name Rex Lapis, like the people of Liyue do. Oh, uh, okay. So they have different names, but we need to name them Rex. Lapis Lazuli? Act 1. No, Paimon, don't go. I wonder how I can keep Paimon in here. Welcome. Uh, Oh well, we'll deal with that later. For now, we gotta find this, these commoners. Right of dissension. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Isn't that today? Oh, shoot, it's today. Once a year, Rex Lapis bestows upon us his divine prediction, guiding us on how to run Liu for the coming year. Last year, it was the Yuhang of the Liu at Qixing that was given the honor of asking for the divine prediction. One Mon's status to freedom as Liyue is to contracts. <laughs> Liyue has a strong focus on business and trade. Ah, uh, okay. The Liyue Kissing, the seven leaders of the seven enterprises of Liyue, hold true control over Liyue. That's what foreigners oh. always say. But true control over Liyue will always be held by Rex Lapis. The Qixing is comprised of mere mortals. Rex Lapis is a god. Mondstadt's god is nowhere to be seen, whilst our god is forever with us. <laughs> of course, because Mondstadt's chilling. Stay in Liyue long enough and you'll see. Given that you just left your godless city, it's time you experienced what it's like to be in a city whose god has walked with it through all of history. Damn, is she dissing Mondstadt? Given that you just left your godless city, it's time you experience what it is like to be in a city whose god walks through all of history. Okay. Alright, lady. Stop being so sus. Okay, you know what? Hello, sir. Oh, are you also foreigners here for the Rite of Dissension? <sighs> to think I've lived in Liyue all these years and never come to see this before. Wait, really? <laughs> I guess it's like they say. Locals never visit the tourist spots. Hmm. Ah, I wish you well on your travels. Liyue always welcomes you. Liyue? Isn't it Liyue? Maybe that's how they say it. I could be wrong. What about you, commoner? You too wish to bear witness to the rite of dissension? <laughs> Me too! We all do. As a businessman myself, how could I not take interest in Liyue's most important business trends? The way he talks like this, uh, I can't do it. The 17 predictions given last year made more than a few ripples throughout the industry. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. What's more, there's been a rumor going around that the Tianxue herself, Ning Guang, Tian has been acting secretly in the shadows. Ting Quan and Ning Guang? I said that was probably wrong. She wants the rocks created by GeoVision holders to be exempt from taxation. Wow, that's some super professional legal stuff, that is. 
<laughs> to be on the pulse of the predictions and the market is what makes this harbor what it is. Among the seven, Rex Lapis is the oldest deity. His keen sense of strategy is well trusted among his people. Understanding the predictions as soon as possible can make all the difference in making your fortune. Yes, well, I'm looking for her brother, so not the, not a fortune. F fortune? So where can we see this ride of dissension anyway? <sighs> You're not at all close. Not to mention that if I gave you directions, as foreigners, you'd get lost along the way. So better to head to Eugene Terrace, to the Eugene high Terrace. ground. Oh, Terrace. It's the highest place in the harbor. Sounds like the best place for trying to communicate with deities, no? Is it? Okay, so we gotta go up there. Ooh. Wait, is that who I think it is? I'm coming to crash this party. Paimon heard that the best time to make a wish is today, during the Rite of Dissension. Wanna Halt. give it a try? Those not involved in the proceedings are not permitted to go any further. <sighs> Killjoy. Oh, shoot. Killjoy. <laughs> Freaking Killjoy. Oh, shoot. That's how my voice sounds. Oh, Trying to sound more like a girl. Your first time in Liga? Actually, Leah. it's my first time to see the Rite of Dissension, too. Ah, look, that's Miss Ningguang of the Liao Shixing. So that is Miss Ningguang. Ningguang. Only those who have control in Liu can preside over the Rite of Dissension. Oh, yeah, not sure if you knew, but most of the Adepti appear in the form of various beasts. I heard that when attending these kinds of formal occasions, Rex Lapis himself appears as a celestial cross between two of Liu's ancient mythical creatures. Mm -hmm. ah, sorry, I shouldn't interrupt your wish. Please, take this. Oh yeah, I wish I could get some leads from the Geo Archon. Oh shoot, it worked? Okay. Oh, you also want a little Adepti luck too? Luck? <laughs> Please. I am the ultimate lucky gamer. Not really, no. More like some pathetic luck, but... Eh. <laughs> Seems you know a lot. Making a wish during this time is sure to get you the blessings of both the Adepti and Rex Lapis himself. Adepti? I've already made my wish, so you can take this. Great! Thanks! I wish I could find my brother soon. What about you, Paimon? We never did get to see your origin story. Are you that lady that threw us out? Hmm. Great! Now that we're all done with the wishing, guess we can just wait here for things to get started. Wait, I know I'm just guessing, but what if she is? You know, like, she has that thing on the side of her. I could be wrong. I'm just maybe making assumptions mm. that I've never spoken of. Who knows how long that Miss Ning Wong lady is gonna take? <laughs> Kill Joy. You and Paimon wait for the Rite of Dissension to begin. Whoa, look at all the people! We gotta get up front, we can't see Squat back here! Oh, now you decide to fly everywhere. The hour is upon us. She pretty. Oh, 
Jitsu or no Jitsu? Oh, he dead. <laughs> now I'm playing. Oh, I ruined the moment. I'm sorry. Her legs. Oh, wait again. I'll, I'll stay quiet. Her eyes. I'm I failing really badly. Rex Lapis have been killed. Seal the exits. Wait, they killed the god? Did she just say Rex Lapis is the Geo Archon is dead? What if it's that one lady? She did almost kill Venti. Oh no! The Millilith! Looks like they're nabbing suspects who got too close. Paimon's freaking out! The killer is amongst us! <clears throat> Among us. Paimon, you're looking very sus. Wait. We got close. Are we suspects? Yes. Wait, where are you going? Wait, so this is Danganronpa now? Hmm. Oh no, there's a whole bunch of soldiers out there too. Your identity. You may not be the killer, but... But... Can we even get out of here safely? Oh shoot, I'm supposed to be sneaky. Oh, okay, uh, look, I'm here being an idiot. Hold on. Oh shoot, I can't even climb these things. Oh, this one right there. Oh, 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 oh. What was that? Wait, hold on. <gasps> oh, crap. Is that a rock? Okay, here, I'm, I'm here failing miserably. Oh. What am I doing? Is it a rock I'm throwing? I can't tell. I love this though, I actually had to be sneaky. Okay. Oh, wait, no, give me the flower. Oh, oh wow, I'm about to expose myself just for a damn flower. Take the bait. Yeah, you idiot. No, I'm the idiot. <laughs> Stay down. Come on. Dun, 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 dun. Don't mind me, sir. Yes, yes. Keep looking that way, you pompous windbag. Yas. Yas. Wow, we did that. Oh, crap. No. Give me that. What am I doing, man? 
Oh, I forgot there is no crouching in this. Yes, keep looking over there. There's only one thing, one thing for me to do. And we made it out. Whoa, <laughs> we kind of glitched out. Uh oh. That's awesome. There's nowhere to run. Hey, girly, hold still. Oh, it's him. Husbanda? Stop! Stop! Come with me. I think I will. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Oh man, I'm a guy too, so as if that wasn't obvious. Paimon's exhausted. Oh yeah, and what those missile, those magical floating is exactly. So insensitive! You have no idea just how tiring floating around. Wait, <laughs> just who are you exactly? Call me child. Child. Child? What? So we're supposed to dote on you? Damn, Paimon Savage. <laughs> no, no, not at all. It's an alias of sorts. Oh, okay. In Mondstadt, I don't suppose you came across a Senora by any chance. Ah, la Senora. Senora? Child? I'm sorry for that, Mike. I, I can't believe it. <gasps> You're Fatui! One of the Harbingers! Fatui? Oh, no. Don't worry. I'm not looking for a fight. Wait, I should remember this, but I don't. Senora gave you quite the bad impression, huh? Pfft, that woman. Can't say I'm a fan either. Wait, is Senora the one with the, with the ice? Right. Let's forget all about her, shall we? I'm here to help you. Yes, help. Hmm. I'm not a bad guy. Oh, okay, perhaps I'm kind of a bad guy, but I'm not here to give you any trouble. Well, at least he's honest. Would it be too much to ask for you to keep the sword sheathed? Oh, I'll keep something sheathed. <sighs> I thank you for your knightly nobility. How do you know my name? I heard of your deeds in Mondstadt, so oh, okay. I couldn't help but notice you during the proceedings back there. Never mind. Makes sense. And because I had my eye on you the whole time, I know it wasn't you. Someone else was clearly behind it. All right, child, you don't have to flatter me. You're mine. <laughs> but, regrettably, given I'm a Fatui envoy from Snezhnaya, there's no way I'd be trusted after something of this magnitude. Of course not. The ruling Chi Sing of Liyue has always been overly suspicious of us. Well, can you honestly blame them? I know, right? <laughs> Guess I shouldn't try to deny that. Man, I'm craving some coffee and a banana. No, not a banana, a peanut butter and jelly. Okay, sure. Maintaining a distance between strangers is probably a good idea. Either way, I'm already used to it at this stage. Mm, pity. But right now, if you want to clear yourselves of any suspicion, you need to get yourselves to Northland Bank. Staying here isn't an option. As the old Liyue saying goes, the walls have ears. Literally. Wait, wasn't it with eyes as well? Or something like that? Auto reconfiguration is an essential function. Damn, I gotta go all the way up there? Wait a minute. Oh yeah, I do. Oops. <laughs> That's funny. I'm here. Ooh, this view is not that bad. Is that wrong of me? I think that was wrong of me. Now I feel bad. And I'm guilty. Of many things. Whoa, don't jump off. Please don't. I don't got time for this. Wait, what are you doing? The Fatui. Okay, my stream really needs to stop. Oh no. Well, as long as it's recording. Northland Bank. Correct. This bank was opened here in Liwa by Snezhnaya. 
Snezhnaya? Though everyone knows Liyua is the most enterprising in Tevat, Snezhnaya is not short of change either. Hmm. Yeah, well, poorer nations don't seem the type to have diplomats that come around acting the way yours do towards the Knights of Favonius. Good, Paimon, good. <laughs> Here, let me give you this. Your phone number? I mean... This is a... I'm not sure exactly. Sometimes all money can buy is things, and not a name for oneself. All I know is that it's a sigil. A sigil to keep the mighty and illuminated Adepti from bringing harm to you. Oh, so it's like a... A free getaway card. Okay. Adepti? If you head north from the harbor, then west from Guayli Plains, you will eventually reach a stone forest known as Jueyun Karst. Jueyun Karst. The people of Liyue believe it to be the abode of the Adepti. The abode? Hmm. Legend or not, they believe it. As such, offerings to the Adepti are made at its borders. Nobody dares venture in. But I have no need for believing. Not when I know for a fact that the Adepti truly exist. Ah, okay, never mind. Hate to admit it, but your Fatui intel seems all right. But why would we go looking for Adepti anyway? <laughs> oh, my little friend. There are plenty of reasons mortals seek the blessings of Adepti. Money, health, love. But you, you will go for justice. And love, I mean. <laughs> justice? The Chi Sing will already have dispatched the Millilith. They'll be seeking out the assassin from amongst the onlookers. The assassin. But how could a mere mortal kill a god that can sweep aside entire armies? Rex Lapis never gave up his power as a god. No, he didn't, but I think... Oh. Okay, well, Venti was kind of weak since he was, you know, he was chilling too long, but I don't this know about the This level of crude response is beyond what is called for. How suspicious. You think they're trying to hide the true culprit, or... They're trying to pin it on someone else to make it look sus. No, it has to be Your this. Your thinking is even more radical than my own honorary knight. It has to be that, right? Even now, the Northland Bank wouldn't be able to hold the Millilith off for long. But the Adepti can clear you of any wrongdoing. Ah, okay. Liyue was founded by the Geo Archon and the Adepti. Of course, it was built by force. Look for them. And be faster than the Chi Sing's messengers, so you may give your version of events first. If there is anyone that can help you in Liyue now, it can only be the mighty and illuminated Adepti. Wait, but who are... I feel like I should know who the Adepti are, but I don't. Ah, oh, yes. I am Batman. Gotham City. In the Batman. I mean, it's not Batman. It's, uh, it's me. Okay, so where do we go? What am I supposed to look for? Hmm. hmm? That's kind of weird. And who might we be? Those that dare enter Dreyun Karst. Oh, that's actually baller. Hold on. A sigil of permission. Many a season has passed since one was last in the presence of such an item. He before you is the mighty and illuminated Adeptus, Mooncarver. Speak, traveler. What business have you here? So somebody killed a god and they're trying to pin it on me, but I'm just here looking for my brother and I should shut up now. Actually. It's the assassin. They dared to flee here to Juyun Karst. Uh, sir, we've already stepped too far into Juyun Karst ourselves. We, ah, there's no choice. Apprehending the assassin is top priority. We must press on. Disturbing our borders. Uh oh. See them gone. 
One will not have interruption. Also, oh, I had to destroy them. Don't mind if I do. Oh, hold on. We we've digressed. State your purpose, traveler. Uh, spoilers. I guess I don't know. Preposterous. Preposterous! Oh, I'm sorry, Moon Carver, but just telling you the story. The Liyue Qixing. Utterly disappointing. I agree. How could someone possibly assassinate Rex Lapis during the Rite of Dissension? And then place suspicion upon the attendees? Hmm. Traveler, of the unjust accusations placed upon you, one has become aware. The mind knows its answer. Though one must consult with one's fellows, lest the mind be misguided. Uh, she, Amisha, thank you for the follow. Go, take your sigil of permission. Carry with you a message. Mountain Shaper and Cloud Retainer can be found here. Only fate will decide if you shall find them. Only fate. Whoa, okay. Uh, by the way, I am making a video, so you are going to be part of this, Amisha. So, shout out to you on this. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what I'll title it, but either way, you're part of it now. So, thank you. For that follow and you went through this challenge already nice there exists a conqueror of demons a guardian yaksha go to wangshu in there you shall seek him uh the conqueror of demons the guardian yaksha okay um are you okay leading leading have mercy, almighty oh Adeptus. I beg you, show mercy upon me and my brother. Spare our lives. Oh, shoot. This is the place where I went to go fix the puzzle, but I couldn't go through. Who are you? What's going on? We asked you first. <laughs> oh, you enjoy safe passage in Joyun Karst. It can only mean one thing. You huh? must be Adepti Messengers, sent here to rescue me and my brother. No, we're here for our own thing, because we're... <laughs> whatever. What is he talking about? Oh, have mercy, mighty messengers of the illuminated Adepti. I beg you to save us. My brother and I, we only came here because our family is poor. And we heard tell of treasures hidden in the amber of Mount Hulao. Your family is poor? No, no, no. You're not poor. You're broke. What you need to work on is your poor-minded. You know what? I'm going too far, which is this character. Whatever. It was stupid of us. But all we wanted to do was find enough treasure to sell and support our family. Hmm. We followed the path up the mountain, but suddenly, the amber that swallowed up my brother Li Dang. The amber? See, okay, that would have been a cooler ability for the character to have, like Amber. I stuff. ran away and made it this far before it dawned on me. We were trespassers in the abode of the Adepti, and this was our punishment. Hmm. I had no idea how to rescue my brother, so I just started praying for the Adepti to have mercy right here on the spot. And now, that long last... Two messengers come to my aid. Please, your prayer won't do anything. You need some action along with some faith. Please. What? Pathetic. We're not Adepti messengers. We just want to find the Adepti like everyone else. No, no, no. You, you must be messengers. You have to be. So you're in denial. I have no idea which Amber trapped him. Please, you have to rescue him. I beg you, show me some Adepti mercy. Thank you. Thank you. 
Oh, mighty messengers of the illuminated adepti. Ah, oh, damn it. I should have gone I with the other one. That we will never be so foolish again. Ah, that, I missed my chance. I could have gone with a snarky response I to make myself gonna like a god. I ask him about where to find the Adeptus, but he seems pretty one-track mind about rescuing his brother right now. Hmm. So, he said that Li Deng got trapped in amber somewhere on Mount Hulao, and that they were following the path the whole way up. So let's follow the path down from here, and make sure to be on the lookout for amber on the way. Oh. The Mountain Shaper's power stems from both inner enlightenment and external knowledge. Hey, said my name. As the dragon spits that which turns to amber, and as the swallow regurgitates mm, that which becomes its nest, so the Adeptus harnessed the power of nature to build an amber prison of pure bars. Okay, no. Oh shoot, we got him. Starfall! Oops. <laughs> <coughs> what happened? You, you rescued me. Oh, thank you. Oh wait, Amisha, you know what would have been a cool power for the main character? It would have been like you use amber and then it traps them into the into the amber orb and then you just break it, you know? It, it sounds a little OP, but it won't hit everybody, but there's a chance for it to to attach itself to an enemy and then it just absorbs the enemy and boom, they're dead. I think that would have been a cool idea. Like these these things, but just for the enemies. Oh, and have you seen my brother? His name is Lee Ding. We were climbing the mountain together. Ding, ding, ding. You got the answer right. We do know him. I just hope he didn't get trapped in Amber too. He's on top. So he's safe then? Oh. Yeah, safe is uh, whatever. Oh, thank you. I will head up to find my brother now. Here's hoping I don't run into any more amber on the way. Yeah, just don't step on it. Duh. I'm being too sassy. What's wrong with me? Thank you for rescuing my brother, oh mighty messengers of the illuminated adepti. Uh, whatever. What? No. I mean, like everyone else, we've heard that there's an Adeptus living in Mount Hulao. But regular folks like us would never have the chance to meet them. No way. Unlike you guys, you're Adepti messengers. So it's a whole different story. Hmm. Anyway, we have trespassed in the realm of the Adeptus for long enough. We should get going. Thank you, mighty Adepti messengers. Yes. Whoa, his voice just cut off. Wait, don't do that. Hold on. Boy, it'd be super helpful if we actually were Adepti messengers. The real messengers right there. Just in the back. <laughs> Cause it seems like this Adeptus has got a real temper problem. But it's not like we've done anything wrong, so... Hope Who dares trespass on my mountain? Wait, I was correct? Wait, why is the why is the freaking text going through without me touching anything? Foolish mortal, come forth and receive your punishment. I'm not touching anything. What the heck? That's not fair. I want to hear the voice acting. I didn't do anything. Wait. Can I fix it somehow? I don't want it to just skip over the story. Hold on. Okay. Please let this be okay. I don't... You intrude upon the sanctity of Mount Hulao. You destroy the amber of my mountain. And you free a thief whose freedom is not yours to give. No idea. Yeah, me neither. The thieves' ignorance was an affront to the Adepti. But your actions are an abomination of the highest order. Was it? I didn't... No, you didn't... Where were you, bro, if you were right behind us? Wait! We can explain! 
A sigil of permission. One was unaware that such things still exist in the mortal realm. Hmm. In the beginning, Rex Lapis cast them for the mortals with his own hand. Few were made then, and thousands of years on, fewer still remain. Oh, I fixed it, by the way. Speak. One shall listen to the matter which brings you here. Then one shall verify the truth thereof. You would be wise to speak the truth. For Liyue is not so far from here that one would be easily deceived. Liyue. You explain what happened in Liyue Harbor. Rex Lapis. Assassinated? Yes. At the right of dissension? What mortal in Liyue, nay, in all the world, would conspire to commit such foul treason? Or perhaps the more pertinent question is, what power in this world could aspire to achieve it? No lie, this design for this bird is really cool. I'm not sure what it's called. I think it's a crane. What was the problem? Oh, the problem was that the text would go through without me actually pressing anything, and I want to hear the voice acting, so, you know? I don't want it to skip over. Rex Lapis charged the Adepti with the protection of Liyue, and we have always honored this duty. As the people have prospered, so have we gradually withdrawn into the mountains. Indeed, this was a gesture of goodwill towards humanity. That's true. And why am I wet? Oh yeah, I'm in the freaking pond. Also for future YouTube video, don't worry, we're talking to the chat. If you want to join the chat, follow at external soul v3. So, enough shameless plugging. But now, alas, Rex Lapis, gone. Traveler, oh, I did it of again. the matter you have relayed, one has become aware. One now knows why Moon Carver has sent for us. Once one has dealt with certain matters here that require my attention. One shall convene with the other Adepti. So we have one more to go through? Paimon can! Adepti always have magical powers in storybooks. Seems it's true in real life, too. You know, like how grass is actually Adepti hair, and rivers are actually Adepti saliva. There must be something similar going on with the amber. Wait, so... <laughs> If grass is actually a dead dye hair and the rivers are actually a dead dye saliva, I'm covered in this a dead dye saliva. Look at me, I'm wet. There must be something similar going on with your amber. Amber must be crystallized a dead dye. Ew, gross. Your nonsense knows no bounds. This amber is produced by a flower that one has planted here, called the karst crawler. Oh, I chose the wrong thing, probably. <laughs> Your nonsense knows no bounds. <laughs> the majority of the plant is hidden underground. When stepped on, it produces amber to trap the invader. Oh, that's pretty cool. After taking up residence here, one planted many karst crawlers to ensure that the tranquility of the mountain would remain undisturbed. Over the years, they have helped to prevent many disturbances. But in the process, they have also trapped many curious things. Ah, uh, so many innocent people were also trapped. Oh, so the Amber is alive? Correct. Thus, one may not leave this place in its current state, for fear of the risk to innocent lives in one's absence. One will depart as soon as one has attended to this matter. One trusts that the manner of your departure will be swifter in nature. Yes, we can glide. <laughs> so it will be swifter. Alright. This was actually pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Oh shoot, it's that lake, really? Finally. I've been here for so many for so long, but I never really did figure out what was the freaking puzzle to this. 
Ah, oh, there it is. Alright, let's start where they want us to start. Ooh, that was cool. Hey, who put this table here? They've even set it ready for dinner. There's a wine jug and everything. That is a teapot, young Paimon. Ooh, they even have the guest names carved into the seats. Here sits Retainer. Here sits Guizhong. Here sits Rex. That's weird. What's... <laughs> okay. Maybe Rex is short for Rex Lapis. But Paimon has... As for Retainer... Hmm. <gasps> That's it! When Moon Carver was going through the names of his Adepti buddies, he said there was one called Cloud Retainer. Okay, the, the text is not matching what she's saying at all. So this must be where Cloud Retainer and the other Adepti have their dinner parties. Um, Genshin, I know I'm, I'm maybe the a lucky boy at times, but this is some bad luck, okay? <laughs> How about we cook up some extra special dishes for the Adepti? We're sure to get Cloud Retainer's attention that way. Is this how my luck is gonna be? Hmm? <laughs> It does not match at all. But what do Adepta even eat anyway? Paimon has no idea. Hmm. People must make offerings here all the time. Guess all we can do is look around the area for any leftovers. Maybe that'll give us some ideas. Um, do you think maybe it's at all possible that the Adepta might like to try some sticky honey roast? The line, the two line text is getting cut in the videos. Oh yeah, trust me, I know. I, I've been trying to fix it, but it's it's frustrating. Wow, my whole my whole thing is glitching out. That's not cool. Look for traces of food offerings. Let's see if I can actually fix it. Give me a second here. It's very clean here. Whoever cooked here last obviously likes to keep things neat and tidy. Paimon bets they were making an offering to the Adepti. Looks like we got us some Matsutake and some raw meat. And what do you know? The recipe is right here. This chef was a super organized person. Hmm. So what you're saying is we have somebody who's very sus right now. See, okay, I was already here. This proves it that I was already doing this mission without even really knowing what the story was. Wow, the ground is covered in flour. <sighs> what a messy chef. <laughs> It's Seems rotten. there's meat in this pot, but Paimon can't tell which kind. Do you think whoever cooked this made it as an offering to the Adepti? Maybe. Hmm. Paimon can't quite imagine an offering made of flour and meat. Huh? Our messy chef dropped a piece of paper on the floor. Ew, and there's a huge footprint on it too. But footprint aside, maybe it has something to do with this mystery dish. Maybe. Someone has definitely cooked here before. Do you think they were making an offering? Looks like they didn't use all the ingredients. Let's see here. We got some snapdragon, some lotus heads, some tofu. Whatever they were cooking, it sounds complicated. Wait, wouldn't it be that one girl? What's her name again? Shang Li? Hey, look over there. They left some notes too. Yup, it's a doozy. Paimon's not surprised they had to write it all down. It's a lot to remember. We should read it carefully. Offer, yes. Jewelry soup as offering? Oh, I need to make it. I'm an idiot, okay. 
I'm here thinking that I just have to follow in the story but not actually make something. Won't you Won't you oh, damn it. Dish that's made from snapdragon, lotus heads, and tofu. Hmm. Well, I don't know. We have to cook it then. What would you call? Okay. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, I had to. I had to go into the cooking, and then actually, you know, learn it, and then I have the ingredients. Because I was thinking of other stuff. I don't know. I'm dumb at times. I'm just silly. Alright, let's offer and continue the story. Use one delicious Matsuke meat rolls as offering. Oh, Matsutake. Okay, I need to make the Matsutake now. Which that one was over there. Perfect. Oh, the teleport's unlocked. All this food must not be helping you with your craving for a sandwich. And coffee. I need coffee, alright? I am a ghoul inside, alright? I have... Nah, I'm not a ghoul. Um, I am hungry, yes. <gasps> a frog! Took it. <laughs> ah, sun crab. Got it. Should I... Should I go and make a sandwich? With my coffee and some ice cream. I'm craving ice cream. Whoa, this is pretty cool. Level 26 recommended. Fire, alright. I have amber with me, so it should help. Oh shit, we're inside, okay. One senses the presence of a sigil of permission. One knows not why you have come, though the sincerity of your offering is clear. Hence, you shall be granted an opportunity. Find your way through mine abode, and you shall receive an audience with the Adeptus whom you seek. Damn, that's pretty cool. Aha, I knew it looked weird. Challenge failed? There was a timer? Oh, you gotta be joking me. And, oh shoot, there is a timer. You gotta be joking me. I here took my time like an idiot. Oh, you're joking me. I still gotta fight this fat one. Seconds. Six, five, four, three. Oh my god. Damn, okay. We Rotate ninety degrees counterclockwise or clockwise. So close I know. Suspicious. I need that coffee now, not gonna lie. Oh, great. Let it rain. I must leave no stone unturned. You know what they also need to do? Assistance. They need to make some like fall damage. Like if a if an enemy falls out the rank, they should stay dead and not come back. That dance, I know, right? <laughs> it's always funny. Come on. Leave it all 
All right, you need to stop. <laughs> lucky dogs, Clover. See, why am I always lucky with these type of things? It's not the best types of items, but it's something, I guess. Okay, so I'm not supposed to be here. I'm supposed to go somewhere else. Oh, a swan? One is most impressed. The path that leads through this abode defies those of ordinary abilities. Never mind. Still the crane, I think. Still cool, though. Look at the art. Nice. The one before you is the Adeptus Cloud Retainer. Now speak of the matter which brings you here. You surmise correctly. Hmm. In fact, even Gui Zhang and Rex Lapis themselves found one's technological accomplishments to be worthy of commendation. This place is huge, and there are so many mechanisms. Do you really have this whole place to yourself? What's it even for? Did you build it as your private mechanism workshop or something? It's just like the story say. The Adepti leave the human world, find somewhere to go be a hermit, and then they research and invent all these amazing things. So, is that how many things are being made, or...? Hmm. One is simply not partial to the tedium of social interaction, and wish to find some peace and quiet. That's kind of funny, because that's what I kind of want to do. I just want to make my art and my videos, and just so I can have some peace and quiet in life, because, you know, I do work out in the human world, so... Find it one did. Shortly after which, you arrived bearing your sigil of permission. It's not bad, but you know, you know how humanity is, right? But enough. State the matter which brings you here at once. You have disturbed the tranquility of this place for long enough. All right. Rex Lapis. Assassinated? Yes. How can this be? Such a heinous crime who would dare the notion is so preposterous as to be unbelievable one shall have to verify the truth of the matter independently perhaps one shall quash liyue first then convene with the other adepti oh shoot they're gonna destroy liyue then again liyue was forced to be made wasn't it or is that what the deer said or who was it? It was the one from the Fatui who he said that Liwei was forced to be made or something, right? Wait, what? Did you just say squash Liwei Harbor? Are you seriously going to wipe out the whole city? That'd be interesting to see, not going to lie. Only a response of sufficient magnitude can negate the possibility of further incidents. So murder everybody to prevent murder. That sounds... that sounds right. <laughs> but the Adepti are sworn to protect the city? Aren't you supposed to protect the people there? No, they're... They're protecting Liwei. But the pro... Mm. It is as you say. We have protected Liwei Harbor under the leadership of Rex Lapis for 37 centuries. But in the face of this coup, by nefarious actors, exceptional measures must be taken. Ah, oh, I get it. Yikes! Quick, you gotta think of something. She wants to squash Liwe flat, and it doesn't seem like she's bluffing. You accepted our offering. That makes this a contract. Exactly what Paima was gonna say. We made all that delicious food and gave every last bit of it to you. We were hoping you might help Liyue out, not wipe Liyue out. Or at least let's, you know, discuss it first. Can't hurt for you to get a second opinion. <laughs> well, alright, so um, they're deities, right? They're like gods, so. 
contract? A cruel irony that you should appeal to the notion after the merciless murder of the god of contracts himself. Oh yeah, huh? that is irony at its best. The people of Liyue seem quite content to dispense with their contracts. They are quite adept at taking that which is composed of black and white and turning it gray. Yes, that is what humanity does. And it's pathetic. And yes, Paimon is very cute. Nevertheless, since you come here in the name of contracts, far be it from one to abandon one's own contractual obligations. Look at Paimon being just a cutie. Least of all when you come bearing a sigil of permission. Rex Lapis infused these sigils with adeptal power when he first cast them. That power once aided humans in battle. Once. Most of the sigil's power has long since worn off. It is but a keepsake now. This keepsake cannot be taken as proof of your trustworthiness. One must investigate the claims that you make independently. This, no doubt, is Mooncarver's very reason for summoning us. Your audience with the Adeptus before you is now concluded. Leave it once, and... Okay, I... Mm. Oh, this seems to be Wang Shu in. Compared to Joy and Karst, this place seems basic. Are we really gonna find an Adeptus here? <laughs> Let's take a look. Paimon reckons he'll be on the balcony. <laughs> basic. Call the hotel. Oh, basic. he's not here? To the blind, everything may not be as it appears. Oh shoot, it's him. It's the husband, though. A sigil of permission? You came prepared. Though this only prevents me from hurting you myself, doesn't stop you from getting hurt in other ways. Uh... Paimon doesn't get it. Too much contact with our world is breaking the rules. Mortal souls are not as robust as those of Adepti, nor can your blood carry this level of Adeptal energy. Oh yeah? It's for your own good. Leave. Now. Wait a sec! We came here to... Ugh! Paimon's peeved! <laughs> All he does is think about himself! You just met him. Do you even know who he is? Paimon wants to give him an ugly nickname. But if you take off an Adeptus, the only thing you'll probably ever find in treasure chests is cabbages. Blech. Is this Bennett? I don't even know his name. No, that was that was Xiao, right? That's his last his name? <sighs> Guess we should go ask the boss lady of the inn about just how she manages to talk to a deaf guy. Hello, a distinct but elusive dress sense defined yet a a typical facial features and followed around everywhere by a floating elf companion. Hmm. Nope. Can't help you. What? Tell me about the Adeptus. What the hell? Oh! You've already met Xiao! Oh, so it is- the name is Xiao. Okay. Not bad. Not often he's in a good enough mood to agree to see people. That's his good mood? <laughs> oh yes. The Adepti are very hard to come by. Many people go their whole lives praying to them, never once actually getting to see one. When the Geo Archon built Liwa, he borrowed power from the Adepti. Liwa? Isn't it Liwe? But Whatever. most of them only know how to protect Liwa by fighting. So for many millennia, it has instead been humans who have led Liwa. You really know a lot, huh, boss lady? <laughs> It's not boss, lady. It's just boss. Anyway, seeing as you have the favor of the Adepti, 
Things should be a lot easier. Well, if you want to know my opinion, if you keep Xiao in a good mood, things should be okay. Good mood? The cat in the background. Can't really imagine what a good mood looks like for that vigilant Yaksha. <laughs> Will be interesting, won't it? No, yeah, that was a cat from the from the game. I even I was like, wait, was that a cat? Come to think of it, I've never seen him smile either. How about this? You go see the chef for a bowl of almond tofu and a plate of whatever it is you're best at making. Almond tofu is one of the few human foods Xiao likes. The other dish is up to you. Xiao or Xiao? In in the game, the storyline. Oh, so you skip this stuff, I guess? You skip the story? Up to us, eh? Hmm, why do you think you're the best at cooking? Wow, never heard of that one. Paimon wants to try it. There's the cat. But if we're going to be cooking for an adeptus, perhaps a satisfying salad would be the safer choice. <laughs> there it is, the meowing. Can't you see I'm on a break, kid? Scram! Scram! Oh. Whoa. This chef guy's service is about as good as that Wagner guy's back in Mondstadt. <sighs> I see. If it's for the boss, then guess I don't have a choice now, do I? No, you don't, so hurry up. But my heart's not really in it right now. Not enough to make a dessert as painstaking as almond tofu. Mm. And why is that? A fencer's hand must be steady. So too must the hand of a chef. But my hands, I'm... They're not steady. Oh yeah? How about you tell me why? Because uh, a, a traveler once told me that this inn is haunted. Oh. You're pathetic. And then just now, just now, in the kitchen, I saw something. Something not right. This chef looks so intimidating, but speak of ghosts and he becomes weak. I keep thinking. Even Wong Shu In isn't safe. I can't keep a steady hand for something like almond tofu. Right. In the name of high quality almond tofu, we need to go check this kitchen out. I guess so. But it's not a ghost, it's Gordon Ramsay's yelling, okay? Hello, doggy. Uh, doesn't seem to be anything. Be anything? Probably not. Uh, oh, shoot. Uh, oh, crap, it really was. Uh, <laughs> Is that her cursing? Wait, don't do what though? You didn't, you didn't specify. <laughs> that was cute though for Paimon to yell like that. The voice what? thingy. Uh, uh, you saw it too. There really is a ghost. Yes, it's Gordon Ramsay's ghost. What? How could I? Okay, so he's useless now. What do we do? Wait, did the voice thing disturb you or was it just weird? <laughs> Forget it. Let's just go see the boss lady again. <laughs> Scared of something so insignificant. Hard to believe he was once a notorious bandit. You don't seem that afraid of ghosts, boss lady. Gods and ghosts. I've seen it all before. She's not wrong. Come to think of it, others don't seem to know there's an adeptus here at the inn except for the boss lady. Shh. Say any more and you'll be divulging my little secret. Mm. Right. It's a secret. Best you two be off. Go see to it that that little ghost doesn't go scaring anybody else. <laughs> now we have to take care of a ghost. Not that I'm ordering you around. 
It's like the Adeptus said. Mortal souls are not as robust as those of the Adepti. So as not to be harmed when dealing with the Adepti, you can start by practicing with that ghost. There is a calligraphy painting in the inn known as the Witness Sigil. It's been in circulation for over a thousand years. Go take a look at it. The voice thingy, it was weird. Was it? I didn't know that. <laughs> Once you have, look for a place outside where you can see the exact same Witness Sigil formation. There we go. There she is! So scary! Quick, you! You grab her! She's, She's trying to quick. get away! We have to follow her! If it's as the boss lady said, she won't disappear like last time. No, don't you dare go inside that machine. Uh, she doesn't know when to give up! Oh damn it. This old decrepit ruin guard! Surely it's not. Silly Joe, Billy Joe. Finally caught you. Paimon's pooped. Hmm. Silly Billy, Billy Joe. Haunting things, is it not? Are you listening? <laughs> the rock. Chilly Joe, Trilly Joe. Now listen here, young lady. Oh. Oh, it worked. Okay. Dusky Ming won't tease the travelers at the end anymore. Oh, come on, Paimon. She's already dead. Why are you try to, trying to do this to her? Next time, you can come play with Dusky Ming. Okay. Now you see what you did, Paimon? If you don't come and play, Dusky Ming will come find you. Ooh, bet. Bet on it. Oh well. Uh. Wow! You really are something. But in other games, like Epic 7, I've been getting lucky. A little bit. Just a little. I am in your debt. Please, wait a moment. I'll make you the smoothest, silkiest bowl of almond tofu. Hmm, is that a promise? Haha, <laughs> my hands are steadier than ever now that she's gone. All right. I'm supposed to go up kitty, there. Kitty, kitty. Howdy. I just wish I could get a five star character too, you know? I could get like. Uh, I know which one I want. I think her name is Mona. I would like to have Mona. There's a big stone inside the base, and Paimon guess this is a rockery. But aren't they usually put inside gardens or yards? What's the point of putting one out here? Huh. The top of this rockery has something strange on it. It seems to be a mark of some kind. Paimon's quite concerned. Well, since we're on a journey, let's look out for mountains that look like this rockery. It'll be nice if we find something. That was very random. Not gonna lie. Oh, you it's us Bondo. Again. Wait, don't go disappearing again. What's this? It's your favorite almond tofu, as well as this distant traveler's best dish, a satisfying salad. Quick, tell him everything before he finishes eating. <laughs> Rex Lapis. How could this be? You know, for gods, they really are very not observant 
on what's going on. I can't imagine it. Though times have changed, I've never imagined a Leoa without him. Oh man, this sucks. We couldn't even meet the dragon. The ruling Qixing. Just what role have they played in this? <sighs> I will seek Moon Carver, Mountain Shaper, and Cloud Retainer. It is time they too made their decisions. Will, will the Adepti take over his role in Liwei? Or will the Adepti interrogate the Xingxing? Adepti do not turn on their responsibilities. I have my reasons to not want to be tainted by the mortal realm, but responsibilities are responsibilities. Our god is the god of contracts, after all. Hmm. Wait! Paimon still has one last question! Hmm? That dusky Ming, she's... When conquering demons, on occasion, you can come across spirits who have never hurt anyone, yet are also not yet able to be moved on. So I asked the innkeeper and the boss if they could keep her here for a time. So really? Wang Xuin was looking after her. Really keeping a wide range of business going, huh? Oh, contracts indeed. Return to Liwei Harbor and find child. I will go and find my child. Do I have enough? Okay, so we could get Tar Tartaglia, whatever, child. We can get a lolly. This one, I already have her. Or her, the wifey. I will like her. The one with white hair. What do you think, Amisha? Since you're the only one active here. How about a summon? Live. Wonderlust. Oh, I have lust for Mona. Wait, that came out wrong. I'm sorry. Kiking and what's her name? Like Q in this language is like Chi, right? So Q, Chi. I don't even want to say it. Skyward. I can't even do this because I only have six. Let's look at her history. I can totally understand. Understand on what part? Mona? <laughs> Is it this one? Okay, so child, Diona, Ning, Ning Guan? Wait, she's a four star character? I thought she was five star. Also, her name is Chi Chi. Aw, oh, man. Because in Spanish, that, it means something else. That's why I, I stopped myself from saying it. I guess it depends. I don't know. Whatever. But there is so much lag in the chat. No, it. it I don't think it's the chat. It's the. It's the real time. Whatever between my server. Or whatever. Never mind. I don't know how to explain. But the stream is lagging. But I could still read. So don't worry. The one with white hair. Also, she's a super character. Aw oh, man. So that means I would have to hope for something good. Personally, I need a... I need an ice character. I need a water character. Rock. And a good electric. Which would be Mona. I would like Mona for that. Her for the Geo. I don't know for the ice. I don't really know just yet. But Diona looks cute. And Child. I know Child is loved everywhere. So... And the one with for fire, I would like Diluc, because Diluc is husbando all the way. Understood the time difference. Yeah, it's a little spa spaced out. That's why I'm fo that's why my phone is on, so I can uh, see how far away the lag is. But enough of enough of this. Let's actually summon. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna close my eyes. You have Kia, right? Kaya? Yeah, I have him, but you know, you know what I mean, right? You know, we can, we can do better <laughs> for ice characters. Yeah, but we can do better. Okay, look, for ice, I would like Chi Chi then. Look at her. Or him. I don't know, it's a he or her. But 
adorable, okay? Driving Thunder. Wait, Mona's a water type? Really? I didn't know what Mona looks like a freaking electric. Diona is good. I received her recently. Diona. I should know that name, but I don't. Alright, look. I'm going to close my eyes and summon, but only you can see if it's going to be gold or not, alright? Alright, I'm going to close my eyes. We're going to wish. I'm not going to look. I'm not looking. Alright. Cool steel. Blood tainted great sword. <gasps> oh my god. Okay. Whoa. Can can I get some hype in the chat even though it's only you and me? <laughs> That is awesome. That is... Yo, that is dope. Low ball, that is dope. I got... I got the waifu. Yo. Alright. I'm gonna celebrate with a coffee once we're done. Damn. Can we get another 4 star? Yo, really? We have him now? Now we have a good water, right? Is he a good water? Amisha, uh, is Ching Q? Is that how you say his name? I don't know how to say his name. Another four star, please. Let's keep going. Because I'm pretty sure there's no five star in this. I, did, I didn't look, so I'm pretty sure there's just four stars. I knew it. Okay. Wow. Holy crap. We're we're gonna do what we need to do. Obtain 120 masterless stardusts. Does this mean we can buy and actually do wonderlust? Give me a second here. We now have a waifu that I've been meaning to want for a long time. As you can tell, I have Noel. Look at her. White hair, gold eyes. Now I have white hair, amber eyes. You got two four-star characters in one wish. Now that is what I call good luck. See, that's why I quote-unquote gave myself the title of Ultimate Lucky Gamer because my luck just comes out of nowhere when it comes to games. So hence the title, whatever. No one cares. But I, I uh, damn, I'm so excited. Boom. How do we ascend her? Oh, we just need to buy one of these thingies? Hell yeah, we're ascending her right away. What weapons does she use anyways? Hold on, let's actually do this correctly. Oh yeah, by the way, this is the end of the video. So we're gonna do the story some other time. So. <clears throat> Let's end this, end this with a thank you for, if you made it all the way here, then thank you for watching the video. Like and subscribe for more. And, well, we got lucky, so I'll see y'all next time. So take care.